such a horrible, miserable day. It's a nice way to start the vlog, isn't it? Um, my Honda needs to get fixed, so we're at the MOT garage. This is four times this year I took that car into the garage. First time was for its MOT at the beginning of the year, and it needed so much work done to it. It's an absolute fortune, but the guy said, look, these cars are built to last because this is the first time all these parts are getting re um, renewed. They've still got the Honda stamp on them, these parts, which for a 12 year old car is pretty amazing. So he's at, once these are re replaced, that's it, you're, you're good to go. Second time, up where I work, it's like wacky racy. Somebody whacked my wing mirror, so I had to get that fixed. And then someone else, after me just fixing it, literally just getting it fixed, somebody else whacked my wing mirror. I think I know who it was, but um, I can't prove it. I can't prove it, and I believe it was an accident, but whoa, 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 there's somebody reversing. Someone was trying to get into the garage. I've happened too close to the entrance. I had to move forward a bit. Um, so, yeah, someone else hurt my wing mirror. And I think I know who it was, but I can't prove it. And I don't think they did it intentional, but the wee guy didn't own up to it. So that was three times. And now my clutch has went, and that's a huge job. Um, and um, yeah, so that's what we're here today. Where's my car? Just leaving, dropping it in. I'm back home. I'm keeping my coat on. It's so cold. I put the heating on. Um, it's just miserable October, and I've got an hour before I need to go out to my pensioners to do their class. So my pensioners, I change the routine every month. So I usually go over what I'm going to do before I go to the class. And I also change the music each month so it's not boring listening to the same tunes. So with it being October, it's going to be Halloween music. So that's what I'm about to do right now. And I better get cracking. I've got one hour to get to my class. On my way back, just finished teaching the pensioners this morning. And I now need to go pick John up from my mum's and then get him ready to go to the nursery. And go back out again. Happy days. Me and John walking to nursery. Are you looking forward to nursery, John? Yeah. Do you love nursery? Yeah. Oh, you're going to have good fun with all your friends, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to meet my friend Angela. You're going to meet your friend Angela? Has she got the same name as your sister? Yeah. Hi, my lovelies. So it is now... Thursday and I have got my car back. Woohoo! I went in on the Monday and because I'm the sort of person that can't stand waiting at a cold wet bus stop, I was walking everywhere. On Tuesday I walked for three hours that day. I had to walk up to the nursery with my little boy who and I, I go to a nursery it's, it's a little bit further away than my local nursery just because I think it's a bit better and John walks so slow he's so used to having the car so it took me half an hour to walk to nursery half an hour back then half an hour to go back up and get him again then drop him off at my mum's and then an hour to walk to my work um, three hours of non-stop walking um, but I've got my car back totally skint now it was an absolute fortune to get that fixed um, I said my car was 12 years old it's not it's 14 years old I'm definitely getting my money's worth out the car but yeah it's a big car parts are expensive for it um, but the way I see it is um, buying a new car would be a lot dearer so and I'm hoping that I can keep this one going for the other, at least year and a half if not longer. So yeah, got my car back. Woo. No, no more walking. And I've just been like cleaning this house for the last couple of days. 
Um, let me show you what I'm doing. So my utility room is an absolute mess. So, and I've got to do a lot of work for my dancing, printing off newsletters and everything. So I'm going to make this area under the stairs an office area and put my printer there. The little table was there with the phone. I was just stuck in this corner. I think it looks rather nice. I'll put a nice sweet candle there. Um, maybe some flowers if anybody wants to buy me some. Hint, hint, Stephen. Um, and this is going to be my little office area. I'll show you when it's finished. But like, this is all this paperwork and crap I need to sort out. So I'm like looking at this stuff, these certificates that were lying about, which is like, okay, Fair enough, I don't know what year that one is. That's trees I'm a climbing. Pass with distinctions. I pass all mine with distinctions. So um, I've got a whole bunch of kids that never picked up their certificates. But like, I mean, some of the certificates I've got here, it's like my daughter Angela, her very first certificate, which was pre-primary. That's her very first ticket sitting there. She stood her exam and she's sitting grade three now. So that was five years ago. Um, here I've got from 2006. Here I've got City, the focus. Here I've got City of Lights when I was competing in Paris with my teacher, Gary McIntyre at the time. Intermediate Female Open and first place overall and here i've got nightclub with honors first place cha cha gold graduate gold graduate means that they don't think you should be dancing that division they think you should be um upper level first place in waltz with honors second place two step with honors and um, second place let's go swing with honors it's nice to look back at that it's good times and like here um, 2009 Sarah she got second place and here Dancing with Lee Easton Pro-Am first place yeah that's a photocopy I send away for to get pro cards of my certificate when I was at AOFM London Academy of Freelance Makeup but yeah I mean like I moved here a year ago and this is all like the paperwork that's out in my utility room 2006. That's nuts. This is the sort of stuff I'm having to um, sort out. Stuff that shouldn't have even be lying out. Okay, I'll show you a before and after for this utility room. But we've moved the table away with the printer on that and now we now have space for John's toys. Anything with wheels is not allowed upstairs because of the stairs. Um, our plug has broke and we're using an extension cable at the moment so we have to get that fixed. Okay. Um, our washing is out of control and then this area for pram and coats etc. Okay so this is my office area now. Um, my light has broke in my hallway so I'm using my torch here. I've got a phone, a little scented electric plug-in thing, um, punch hole printer. Here I've got some printing paper, laminating paper and photograph paper. Here I've got different um, flyers, business cards, money bags, CDs, um, tripods and um, a hard drive passport hard drive and then all the cables that go with that in these little tubs um, here's my laminator and here's my little filing box under the stairs is um, a bunch of stuff that I'm not allowed to throw out paperwork wise but will never ever use but they're important paperwork so you can't throw them out so that's that there's also a, an old laptop there that um, needs to get fixed and we'll give that to Sarah when we fix it. The lovely weather we have and look at my new chair being absolutely soaked. So I basically tried to get this chair in the house, it wouldn't fit in 
close to an arrow and I said to Steph, I'll just leave it there when Tina two doors away comes in, I'll get an Allen key off of her and remove these feet and she's not back in yet and it's now teeming down and my chair's getting absolutely soaked and do you know what's going to happen? I'm leaving it out here and when she comes in she's still going to have an Allen key, I bet you anything she's not going to even have the thing that I need to get these feet off and I'm going to have to return that. So we finally got the chair in the house and it's up in Sarah's room. So it's in the middle of having our breakfast. Um, but yeah, so our room looks like an actual little living room now. Way hey. So I'm just out of bath and I need to go to work. So I'm going to sign off this vlog. Um, thanks for watching. Um, got my car back. I can drive and I've got no money in the bank after it, but I can drive. Um, next couple of videos is going to be some Halloween looks, since Halloween is fast approaching. And um, I've also um, got a calendar that I'm ordering that is the best advent calendar yet the best one and I'm going to open it all up for you. I might even do a look um, with the products that I get in this calendar. Um, I'm really excited for that. So yeah, loads coming up for you guys. Um, and I'm um, see you next time. Bye.